Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to record a slideshow with narration as a video in PowerPoint. This particular video is quite apt in the current situation because of the unfortunate pandemic of coronavirus. As you know, in many organizations, travel for business is not allowed which means you may not get the opportunity to do your slideshow presentation in front of your audience in a boardroom. So the next best thing you can do is to record a slideshow with narration as a video in PowerPoint so that you can share that video on YouTube so your audience can watch your presentation just the way you would present to them in a boardroom. Rehearsing a slideshow in PowerPoint has always been there. But the one option that I'm going to show you is available in the latest version of Office 365 and PowerPoint 2019. So this is a wonderful feature and see how this tool can be a game changer in the current situation. The first thing you need to do to record a slideshow with narration as a video is to insert a new tab called Recording tab. Even if you have Office 365, you would see that the Recording tab is not part of the default set of tabs. The simplest way to add the tab is to go to any of the tabs here, right click, and then you get these two options. You go to the first option called customize the ribbon, and that will take you to this dialog box. And here you can see that there are quite a few options available, and some of the tabs are checked and some of them are not. In this case, I'm going to check the option called recording, and that would add a new tab here. Let me say OK, and now I have the new tab called recording. Now let us click on this and get ourselves familiar with the various options available here. While at first glance it might look like this recording tab is doing nothing more than getting all the tools related to recording in one place. But actually this tab is doing far more than that. There are some options here that are really game changers. Especially the option here and the option here. This is to record slideshow and this one is to save as show. We will understand this better as we go forward. Now, the first thing we need to do is to have a presentation ready. In this case, I've got a three slide presentation. The first one is a title slide. The second one is a simple diagram with animation. And the third one is a chart without any animation. Now for demonstration purposes, I have added slide notes here. So you can click on this notes option. You can see that I've already written some notes here because I'm going to read from this notes as I do the recording. Let me do that for the second one and the third one. So you can see that all three slides have their notes and this is very important for you to note right now. Now I'm going to click on this and close the notes view. Now let us click this option here and you can see we have a couple of options. One is record from current slide. The second one is record from beginning. You can click on the icon here and anyway it will start from beginning. So I'm going to click on record slideshow and this is the new window that gets opened up. First, let us get ourselves familiar with the various tools that are available here. The first thing to note here is in the bottom right corner, you have the option for microphone. Here, microphone is plugged into the computer and that is the reason why you can see that this icon is on. You also have the option to plug in your webcam in that case, you will have these icons on as well. Now, since we don't have the webcam plugged in at this point, you can see it says no camera available. The best part about this is you can even adjust the settings for your microphone and webcam by going to this option here. When you click on the drop down menu, you can adjust the settings for microphone and the same way you can adjust the settings for camera here in the settings option. Then let us see these two arrows here. These arrows, as you might have guessed, help you to go to the previous slide and the next slide. So when I click here, it goes to the next slide and the next slide. Now here, there is one thing I want you to note. If you see this slide, this one has animation in it. Yet, you don't see any animation being played right now because we are just previewing the slides. Now, animation will show when you do the recording. So that is something I want you to remember. So that is what these two arrows do. Then let us see the options available here. These are the tools that allow you to write on your slide. You can see that there is this option called pen. I can click on this and I can write on the slide and that will be recorded when you share the presentation as a video or slideshow. Now you can always click on this back again to get your cursor back. Another option you have is this one called as highlighter. 
you can click on this and you can highlight certain aspects on the slide. And this one is the eraser. If you had written something on the slide, then you can erase it using this tool. Of course, you have these colors and these are the colors that you can use for your pen. Then I want you to see these two timers here. The first one shows the duration of recording for the current slide and the second one shows the cumulative recorded time. Then we have the option called notes. Here you can click on this and you can see that the notes is shown here and this notes is visible only to you. You can read from this notes and your audience won't see these notes when you share them your video or the slideshow. You can adjust the font size of the notes by clicking on this option here so that you can read much clearly. And then we have the option here for clear and there are two options. One is to clear recordings from current slide and the second one is clear recordings on all slides. We will talk about this a little later when we do our recording. The next thing is these three buttons. The first one is record button. What it does is quite obvious. The second one is stop button that allows you to stop your recording. And the third button is replay button that allows you to replay the current recording. Now we will understand everything very clearly when I do a simple demonstration. So let me do a recording of this presentation. I'm going to read the notes here. I'm also going to use the pen tool and the highlighter tool on the slide so you can see how those tools interact with the slide. So are we ready? All right. Let us hit the record button. You will see the numbers shown 3, 2, 1 and then the recording starts. This is the narration for the title slide. This is the first slide in the presentation. This title template is from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. This diagram shows a two-step circular flow. This is the notes for slide number two. This is the third slide. Here we show a stylish data-driven charts from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. There is no animation on this slide. I am going to use one of the pen tools here. I am going to click on the pen tool and I am going to use red color and I am going to highlight certain numbers here. So this is the first number and this is the second number. That brings the end of the narration. So we hit the stop button. Now we have done our recording. Now let us see how the recording plays. So I'm going to go back to the first slide and this is the best part about this. You can do the replay and see how your recording has been. So I'm going to click here and I'm also going to share my commentary on the recording as well. So I'm going to hit the replay button right now. This is the narration for the title slide. This is the first slide in the presentation. This title template is from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. Now, I have paused this. You can see that we have shown the highlighter quite nicely, isn't it? Now, you can see that the button has changed from the blue color to white color, which means when I hit this button again, it will continue to play. So I'm going to hit this. This diagram shows a two-step circular flow. This is the notes for slide number two. Now, watch this. I have shown my animation while I presented. This is another important thing to note you have the full liberty to show the animation just the way as you would do when you are presenting in front of your audience. Now let us continue to play and observe how the pen tool is being used in the next slide. This is the third slide. Here we show a stylish data-driven charts from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. There is no animation on this slide. I'm going to use one of the pen tools here. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm going to use red color and I'm going to highlight certain numbers here. So this is the first number and this is the second number. That brings the end of the narration. So that is it. Now we have finished the recording for the three slides. Now let me show you something that is even better. Now let us assume that I'm not very happy with my recording for slide number two. Now I can always go back and re-record just for slide number two. Let me show you how that is done. I'm going back to slide number two. So this is the one and I'm going to do the re-recording. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the clear option. And here you can see that there are two options. One is clear recordings on current slide and the other one is clear recordings on all slides. We are going to choose the option called clear recordings on current slide. So I'm going to click on that and that will take away this icon that you saw 
for audio and we can now do the recording only for this particular slide. So I'm going to do a little bit of variation here so you know that this is a re-recording. So let us do the recording again. Now this is the re-recording for the two-step circular flow. We are going to make the same kind of demonstration as we did earlier. But this time, let us see how this re-recorded version gets into the slide deck. Now I have stopped that. Now watch how the second slide plays. I'm going to hit the replay button. Now this is the re-recording for the two-step circular flow. We are going to make the same kind of demonstration as we did earlier. But this time, let us see how this re-recorded version gets into the slide deck. Now see this, when I hit the play button, it will take us to the next slide and the earlier recording plays. This is the third slide. Here we show a stylish data-driven charts from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. There is no animation on this slide. I'm going to use one of the pen tools here. <laughs> now can you see the recording for the third slide didn't get disturbed. Now what this means to you is, if you are a perfectionist, and if you want to make a pitch presentation, you can record the best version of your pitch and share it as a video to your potential clients. Recording your slides with narration as a video has never been better. Now we have done all the recording. Now let us see how we can save this in two ways. One as a video and the second one as a PowerPoint slideshow. I'm going to hit escape button here. And when I hit the escape button, you can see that I have the option to have all these markings saved with a slide. Now, I'm going to use the first option here called export to video. When I click on this option, I get this screen. I can say create video and this is the option available here for full HD. You can of course click on this and you can see that there are lower quality recordings also possible. I'm going to use the default version called full HD and I'm going to say create video. I need to choose the place where I need to save this video and you can see that the save as type is MPEG4 video which is the standard format. I'm going to say this is a good place which is on the desktop and I'm going to hit the save button. Now when I hit the save button you can see that the recording is happening and you can see that the process is being done here. Another point that I want you to notice these icons show that these are the audio files that belong to the different slides. So when I go here, you can see that each slide has its own audio file, which means that you can always make your re-recording for any specific slide. Now the video is recorded. Let me go to the desktop and here I have the video file. Let me show you the video file so you can see how the highlighting is done and whether you can see the notes or not. If you remember, we had the notes open all the time. This is the narration for the title slide. This is the first slide in the presentation. This title template is from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. Now this is the re-recording for the two-step circular flow. We are going to make the same kind of demonstration as we did earlier. But this time, let us see how this re-recorded version gets into the slide deck. This is the third slide. Here we show a stylish data-driven charts from Comprehensive All-in-One Bundle 2.0. There is no animation on this slide. I'm going to use one of the pen tools here. I'm going to click on the pen tool and I'm going to use red color and I'm going to highlight certain numbers here. So this is the first number and this is the second number. That brings the end of the narration done. So that is how the video plays. Now, the thing that I want you to note is we have got all the markings shown and there is no visible notes shown, which means that you have the full liberty to read from your notes and your audience won't know that you're reading from your notes. Now, let me show you another way in which you can save this presentation. And that I think is even better. And that is to save as show. When I click on save as show option, I have this option here called save as type and this is PowerPoint show. And let us see how this one plays when I save this. You can see that it doesn't take much time at all. Now let me go to the slideshow which is saved on the desktop. Now this is the show. I can double click on it. And as soon as I clicked on it, you can see that the presentation opens up. 
here in this presentation i had the first slide as well so let us ignore this let me go to the next slide now when i hit page down you can see that the audio file plays this is the narration for the title slide this is the first slide in the presentation now i'm hitting this page title down template again is now this is the re-recording for the two step I'm circular hitting flow page down we again. are going to make the same kind this is the third slide here we show a stylish data driven charts from comprehensive all in one bundle 2.0 there is no animation on this slide i am going to use one of the pen tools here i am going to click on the pen tool and i am going to use red color and i am going to highlight certain numbers here so this is the first number and this is the second number that brings the end of the narration now how beautiful is that now let me show you something even more interesting now, at any point of time on the slideshow, you would observe that there are these buttons visible. You can click on one of these buttons. And when you click on that, you can see that we have a slide sort of view of all the various slides we have. Now, what this means is you can skip to any slide you want and the audio for that specific slide plays. Now, watch this. I'm going to choose the first slide in the presentation. This is the narration for the title slide. This is the first slide in the. Now let me go to the third one. This is the third slide. Here we show a stylish data driven charts from comprehensive. All so how cool was that? You can always navigate to any slide you want and listen to the narration of the presenter from that particular slide forward. So that is how you record a slideshow with narration as a video in PowerPoint. Now, the thing is, you don't see such elaborate and clear explanation of the various tools of PowerPoint, even from the Microsoft site. But if you really want to be quite comfortable with PowerPoint and know all the tools and know them as a professional presenter, then one of the best ways to do that is to enroll to this program called Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. This program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program online. So if you are a presenter who needs to make presentations as part of your profession, then enrolling into this program can really be very useful for you. I will leave a link to Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program in the link in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come check out this video. And if you think that this is the right one for you, please enroll to the program and take your PowerPoint to the next level. Finally, if you want to enroll to our free mini training course called 25 Creative Presentation Ideas for Business Professionals, you can click on the link here. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and join our 100,000 other subscribers who are improving their PowerPoint skills by watching our videos. If you want to watch our latest video on PowerPoint, then you can click on the link here. So go ahead, click on this link and join our free mini training and enjoy this practical five day mini training course. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.